Hello, this is TurboDog702 for the Castlevania Symphony of the Night Any% Percent tutorial. In this section, I will be doing a basic overview of the death skip that occurs at the very beginning of the game inside of the entrance during the Alucard part of the run. Uh, this particular skip is fairly important because it allows you to keep your immensely powerful gear on Alucard when he first enters the castle and makes the rest of the run quite a bit of a breeze. Um, Inside this video, we'll be going over the basic concept of it, uh, of the death skip itself. How it works, about screen scrolling, uh, breaking what I'm going to call the screen scrolling barrier, uh, using a freeze from a level up. We'll also talk a little bit about positioning, and a really, really rough uh, basic explanation of the mechanics behind the death skip itself, what's happening. So without further ado, we'll go right in. Okay, so to go over it kind of quickly, uh, I've already killed the warg that's guarding the last place here. Normally we would kill the warg here in order to get our level up, but I wanted to get rid of him uh, right offhand so that you can just understand a basic concept that I wanted to explain to you. The next screen past here is the actual screen where death takes our gear, but we're going to try to avoid that. The first concept that I would like to point out to you is you'll notice that the screen doesn't scroll when you're close to the edge of a screen. Um, it basically locks the camera in place and it's not able to move until you enter the next screen or move further away from it, as you see. Uh, once you move further away from the edge, it does try to center itself on a la carte. Uh, the basic concept of this trick is that we want to use a screen freeze caused by a level up in order to shift the pixel that we zone into the next screen slightly. Um, the first concept that I want to mention is the screen scroll barrier, as I'm going to call it. And that's basically the very line that exists vertically or horizontally that if you're on one side of it, it won't scroll the screen, but the minute you take a step onto the other side, the screen scrolls, as you can see there. And you know, if I move around, then it starts to follow me normally. But if I'm on the other side of the barrier, it stays put. For this particular screen, the screen scroll barrier is roughly here, give or take. Um, kind of an indicator that I've been playing with for the purposes of this tutorial is if you look in the background, there's an archway uh, that gets made and basically there's a big bold line that's particularly dark and it seems like when Alucard's toe on his lead foot passes that, that's when the screen scroll happens. It just happened there by a couple pixels. Um, I just want to point this out to you so you kind of understand what we're going for here and the positioning that we're trying to achieve. Um, so that's the basics on what I'm going to be calling the screen scrolling barrier. Now, what are we trying to do? Well, when you level up, as I'm going to refresh, or rather load a state save, when you level up, you'll notice that the screen freezes. And while you level up, if you press forward or back or whatever, it will not register on the controller until, you know, you finish leveling up and then you can move again. It should be noted that when you level up, or when you do other screen freezes, such as use a heart refresh, um, I believe there's a couple others that can activate, uh, you actually can move a scant few pixels before the screen actually freezes your character. And that's really important to the trick. Basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it so that with those scant few pixels that we can move during the level up freeze, Alucard breaks that barrier, that screen scrolling barrier. So for example, I'm on this side, I level up, and during the level up, when I'm able to move, I move that far. You know, I move just enough that the screen should be trying to scroll with me. When I do that, once I actually execute that during the screen freeze, I'm going to hold backdash during the level up. What that does is that after the level up, I'll backdash immediately afterward. It's known as a buffering a command. In this case, it's a level up buffer. There's map buffering as well. 
Okay, so basically we're trying to use that level up off of the last warg using a variety of different tactics in order to uh, break that barrier and initiate what's called the reverse shift line, the RSL. Uh, I've heard before that if you break this staircase, it actually allows you a second pixel or a second frame with which to do the trick. I don't know if this is true or not. Uh, a lot of the tassers say it is, but uh, I cannot say for sure. I figured I'd mention it, though. Um, it, that is how I will be doing the neutron bomb skip as well, is going to be breaking that stairway. Uh, other methods of doing this include the spell version. Uh, basically, you can use a neutron bomb to hit the warg further away. You can use a spell to be able to hit the warg a couple of times and cause a level up. Uh, you can also use a heart refresh in order to cause the screen freeze without the level up and be able to skip death. And the last thing that I'll cover in a addendum at the very end will be the big toss, which can only be done in luck mode, but I figure it's worth mentioning since a lot of people know about it. Uh, the last thing is I guess I'll go over a basic mechanic overview of what's actually happening. So, essentially... What happens is, is once you initiate the RSL, once you break that scrolling barrier with the screen freeze, and then you buffer the backdash out, uh, basically the camera like freaks out in a way, and it makes you zone a pixel earlier than you normally would out of this room. And what that does is it makes you enter the death room a pixel to the left of where you're supposed to be. And what that does is it puts your X coordinate value at like negative one or negative two. When that happens, the game like freaks out and does what's called an underflow. And it forces you into the boundaries of the next available screen. So it sets your position to 255. So essentially what you do is you zone out of this room, zone too far to the left in death chamber, and the game goes, uh-oh, I better eject him into the next available screen. Send you to 255, 255 is at the edge of the screen and you skip death. That's the basic idea of how the mechanics work. I'll try to get a better explanation from Atasser himself, and uh, maybe I'll post that later in an addendum. So to go over real quick, one more time, we this is the screen scrolling barrier for this part of the map. It's about right here. After you pass this part, the screen begins to scroll. What we're trying to do is level up uh, as we're crossing this, so that during the screen freeze, we move an extra pixel or two. During that level up, we hold the backdash button so that we buffer a backdash out of it. We then run against this stairway to align sub-pixels, jump up, and run into the next room. And I'll attempt to do it right now in real time so that you get an idea of how to do it. I'm going to do the neutron bomb skip method so that hopefully you get an idea of how this is supposed to look. So Wolf comes, we equipped our Neutron Bomb, we, we do whatever method we're going to do in order to get the setup. I hold Backdash as I'm doing that, I Backdash out of the level up, run, and I've skipped death. One more time is a little bit more of a breakdown of this itself, although I'm going to be going into it in greater detail than Neutron Bomb Skip itself. We set up our skip, however the positioning is, depending on which skip you're using. Um, since I'm pause buffering for this, I can actually hold Neutron Bomb, and I'm going to basically walk into the level up. So as I'm leveling up, I'm actually holding left until I'm sure the level up is happening, once I know the level up is happening, then I hold backdash instead. After the backdash, I run up against these stairs and run into the next room. And that time I actually missed it, but I think you get the idea. It should be noted also that although you can find ways to make this skip more consistent, you're probably never going to be 100% on it as I'm proving here. Um, I have actually a fair amount of success with this method, but you know, that tutorial luck comes back to bite you. 
Yeah, there we go. And I've successfully skipped death. And that allows me to keep all of my items. I re-equip my Alucard sword, and I'm ready to tackle the next part of the alchemy lab. Uh, that should do it for an introduction, a basic mechanics breakdown of how the death skip works. Um, I've talked to you a little bit about the reverse shift line for the area and how you can use the screen scrolling and level up freeze to get past death. Inside the next video, I'll be talking about the Neutron Bomb version of the skip that I used for this video. This is TurboDog702 for the Castlevania Symphony of the Night Any Percent Tutorial.